guys welcome back i just want to quickly apologize if you can hear the children in the background you know i've explained many a time there is a school right beyond just kind of just behind my garden and um yeah this is literally the only chance i've had to film in so long so i'm taking it <laughs> So basically, I have a collective fashion haul for you today. Um, fair amount from Primark. I think I've only got one thing from New Look. Uh, a couple of things from H&M. And yeah, so without further ado, let's show you. So I'm going to show you the thing I got from New Look first. Sorry about the obnoxious rustling bag. Um, but I picked up this grey long line kind of, is it a duster coat? I don't know. It's just a really long line coat. Um, this was actually petite and it was more expensive than the petite. I thought it, it looked online, it said it was cheaper than the petite, but in store, which is unfortunately where I had to get it because I was limited on time for ordering it and I wasn't sure if it was gonna fit. So I was like, no, I'm gonna have to buy it in store. I don't even care. Although they did have, I believe 30% off. So I think this was 29.99 and it says 39.99 on the thing. So yeah, and it's just, sister grey long line coat. I might try and do a separate try on again like I did in my last fashion haul. Jesus, that was ages ago. Um, I did like a Primark haul and then I did a try on video separately just because the video got too long in itself. I might try and do that again in this one just because I know I don't have time to film it now or before I go away and before I want to get this up. So bear with on that. So there is that. And then from H&M I got some underwears. Oh. And I got three tops, all following a very similar theme of stripes. I am in love with stripes. I just, I don't even need to go there. I just, I, yeah. So the first one I got was this yeah black and white striped top with this kind of lace panel at the top which I think is adorable and it kind of sits really I don't know kind of sits just across here so it shows your collarbone and it just just looks really pretty and that was $7.99 I saw this in there and I liked it at the time I didn't buy it and then I saw it in there again I was like do you know what they still got it I'm getting it so I did and then like I said, following along the striped top theme, I got this one, which is kind of a cream, and I think they're navy, I'm not sure, a really dark navy or basically black striped top. They both, I think, got the same neckline on these, but they are slightly different. This one is slightly fitted, although they do have very similar sleeves in the sense that they're kind of, they sit just above the crease, so crease of the elbow here, and then they kind of sit here, which I think is really nice. I don't like short sleeves, because I think they just look, I don't know, they just don't flatter me, but I think this sleeve length is really nice. So there was that, and I believe these were both 7 dollars so I have worn both of these, so apologies. And then the other one is this one, and it's kind of a really dark grey with white stripes. I really should have put a colour character in with this because the stripes are going a bit meh. But oh well. But this one's more of a kind of slouch fit, which is really nice. This with a pair of black jeans. Mm. Yeah. That's happening this weekend, so that needs to go back in my suitcase. Um, I actually got one thing from Sainsbury's, like to you you know, the, the, the little bit of clothing section at the thread. Um, I cannot talk for the life of me. And it's just a scarf. That's the only reason I wanted to mention it in this haul. And it is beautiful. <sighs> if autumn was a thing, which it is, obviously, it would be this. Ah. Isn't it just the most beautiful thing you ever did see? I kind of, not that that's my get, not that, the, what? Not that it's my bag, but this really reminds me of like Harry Potter. Anyone else? I don't know. It's just because it's got like navy and mustard and burgundy and mm, ooh, the yumminess. All of the yummies. And I believe this was like a tenner. I don't think it was, no. Yeah, I think £10. I don't know if they still have it because I got this quite a while ago actually. But yeah, it's my favourite thing of the haul, not gonna lie. First time I wore it today, and it's like, okay. I got 
two LBDs from ASOS. Um, I did mention in my recent week of vlogs or almost weekly vlogs um, that I did get a couple of dresses on H&M. Uh, no, I didn't, ASOS. And I said I'd share them in a haul. So here we are. The first one is this AX Paris one. I have no idea how much any of these, either of these were, sorry. I know they were both in set. Actually, I do know how much the other one was. I can't remember on this one though. And it's just a basic LBD with a peplum. It's just a polyester kind of material, which means it'd be a bit warmer. Obviously it can get too warm, but yeah, I bought that for the event that I've got coming up this weekend. So there's that. And then I also, because I ordered like four, because I wasn't sure which one I liked, um, I kept one of the other ones because it was only nine pound. It was reduced to nine pound and it was the Club L dress. And it's just a basic like bodycon dress. And this bit, which you can, I don't know if you can see that kind of seam across the middle. You'd think that wasn't flattering, but it really is. And what's even more flattering is the back. Oh yeah, gonna have to find some other kind of underwear to wear with that. But yeah, that one. And then, most of the other stuff I got from Primark, which is in the Superdrug bag, because I hate carrying around a Primark bag because they always break. So, where should we go? This is very unexciting, just, just to warn you. Just, yeah, you, you've been warned. Okay. Right, so where are, we, where are we gonna go first? Let's go with the random stuff. These are actually for my mum. A pack of two tweezers, just thought I'd show you them because they're like super cool. Oh yeah, they're for my mum. I got one of the PS Volumizing Mascaras, I wanted to call it PS Love, I don't know why. Um, and these are a pound, and Elle raves about this mascara, so I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna give that shit a go for a quid. If I don't like it, I'm not that bothered. I don't know why I'm trying to open it. Oh. Free eye test at Boots. I got a pack of, well, a two pack of exfoliating gloves because they're only a pound in Primark and these are awesome. Uh, me and Joe call them my Mickey Mouse gloves because I look like Mickey Mouse when I have them on. But um, I love them. So yeah, cheap and cheerful, love it. Also cheap and cheerful, pack of a million and ten fucking hairbands, or 50, as it suggests. Also, one pound, and annoyingly, I only really use these. The thin ones, because I hate the thick ones, and the blonde ones. I do occasionally dip into the brown, but that's when we get desperate. I got three things, I got some more things, hang on. So I got three things from Gabby's old range. That shows how long these things have been waiting in a bag to be hauled. Um, I don't know if they are still available, but I thought I'd share them anyway. So I got the sticky note set because I am obsessed. I know everyone says it, but I am obsessed with stationery. I freaking, freaking adore it. And these are just adorable. And I have a million and 10 sticky notes but what's another million in 10 to the collection? Can you tell that's like my favorite word? My favorite word? Favorite number, effectively, I suppose. And they were three pound, if you can get them, just if you're curious. I got a set of pencils, and there's six in there. You get like three lilac ones and three like super baby pink ones. Now 150, I don't actually have any pencils at the moment. Believe it or not, I don't own like a normal writing or drawing pencil. So I thought they'd be quite handy because when I'm writing, writing in my um, planner, my hours for work, if they change, then I can rub it out. And then the last thing I got from the old range is the, or one of, I think, the notebooks. They had a longer like A4 one as well, but I got this one um, and this was 250 and inside, it says, I'm not, I'm not keen on this, but it says list goals. I just like it. I think it's very aesthetically pleasing, as is all of her stuff. 
And as we're talking about Gabby stuff, I figured I'd share with you what I got this weekend or the past weekend with my friend Kerry. I got the fairy lights. I didn't need them. No, I did not. But they were six pound and I was like, do you know what? They're adorable and I need to make my room look more cute and more, I don't know, more, you can think of a word. And I got two of these mugs. They are glass mugs and I absolutely love these. I just think they look really, I don't know, chic and just nice. And they're so cute because look, they got meow and a little gold kitty cat. But yeah, like I said, I've got two of these. One of them I put up in the loft because this one's gonna go in the cupboard downstairs with all the rest of them. But if it breaks, well, gets broken by somebody, dad, then um, got another one up there. And these are only two pound. That's another reason I kind of bought two. Kind of want to buy another six, but you know. I got some new eyelash curlers because mine are going crap and I love Primark's um, eyelash curlers. I get the automatic ones rather than the manual ones because I hate the manual ones. These are only a pound fifty and they're really cool at the moment. They've got like, they're black with silver glitter. Cool, yeah. Like one other beauty thing in here, I got the PS Primer Water. I've used this once and I did actually like it. My only gripe is with this, I don't know if it's the same with other people's, I don't know if it's even gonna show. There's floaty bits in it. What are these floaty bits? Please, if you have this or have seen this and have the same thing going on, comment in the box, comment section thing. And then I got another brassiere. Uh, this is actually, oh, it's exactly the same as the one I got last time, in white. Wow, well done, Vicky. Um, of course, it would be in the wrong size, though. It is a 36B, in case you were wondering. That, I am not. Um, but, they are very comfortable. And when you've got the actual, I'll just show you in case you didn't see my last haul. It's got the really, like, cute lace on the back, and it's got a racer back. Once the racer back option is selected, it oomphs your boobies up and it's not too bad although it does kind of dig in here um so yeah so that size on that you know with the racer back on it's fine it does fit fine so it's okay it'll do i might go back and change it but we'll see um i got <laughs> this shows how long this haul has been here for uh again I got a pair of bikini bottoms because they were in the sale. They were four pound down to two, size so fourteen, just because I have a huge ass. But I'm going to Iceland in December, and we're going to the Blue Lagoon. So I need swimmy wear, any who's. And in December, we're going to start going swimming and stuff again. So I needed some new ones, and I think they're really cool. They're like weird, kind of neony, kind of Aztec -y print. And I can just wear that with like a plain black top and I'll be sorted. Um, so, of course, the only other things I got were pyjamas and gym wear. So the first, first stop I got was this neon kind of orange racer back workout tee. And it was £4 and it's just a really loose material, which is really nice. Uh, I got another one of these. I got one of these in a previous Primark haul. I got the pink version of this. And I think this was, a, yeah, it was in the sale. It was five pound down to three. And I really like it. It's really comfortable. So I thought I'd get this one as well. And it's just this kind of turquoisey color with white tie dye on it. And then the last one I got was, I think, yeah, pretty much the same as that, but just obviously a different pattern. Pattern, I don't know, or print, whatever. Uh, it's just like a gray ombre situation with again just the strap racer back dealio that one wasn't in the sale i don't think no that one, but that one was four pound so that's all good oh i actually got just a normal t-shirt oh yeah i forgot about that oh maybe i'll bring that this weekend okay so this is just a plain gray um v-neck t-shirt 
It's quite boxy, but I like these kind of flowy t-shirts just to wear with a pair of jeans and it's just like good to go. And it was only four quid and it's just really soft and nice. And it's kind of got that kind of, I don't know if you can really see, I suppose the front would be better to show you, a kind of marl to it and I really like that effect. And I've got two pairs of pyjamas. First pair are these, they are grey, like a really dark grey with white stars all over them with a pink tie. And these are straight legged! Insert applause here. And oh, how adorable, it's got a cute little lacy bit. Yeah, I hate the whole cuffed ankle thing. It needs to go in room 101, seriously. Um, these were six quid and I just really like them. They're just cotton and just really nice and they're, they're stretchy ones though and it's just really comfy. Nice. And then very, very similarly, I got these ones. These were just like, they're like a cream with a pink floral pattern all over them. Again, wide legged, no tie on these, but yeah. And they were six pound as well. I just think they're adorable. Cute little ditzy print. And the last thing I got was the only real autumnal thing other than my scarf, which, oh my God, these would go amazingly together. So I got this um, jumper and it's a burgundy jumper in a size 18 and it was 10 quid. I bought this ages ago when I went into town with my sister. And it's got a cute little zip up the back, just a, you know, a bit of detail. Just thought I'd show you that. And it's a really just chunky, chunky knit jumper at the end of the day and it's just really nice and I think oh, oh can we just can we just are we justing are we justing yes yes right so that was my collective clothing haul and other things so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was a bit everywhere. I've kind of just gone a bit off with YouTube recently, as you probably have tell, telt, been able to tell <laughs> from my last few videos. I've just been a bit scatterbrained really. And to be quite honest, I'm enjoying it. And I hope you are too. Give me a thumbs up if you are. Um, comment down below anything you like. It would be very nice to read your comments. And I will catch you in my next video.